So what we've done here is we pulled this out of the weeds and out of the woods. There was literally trees growing up through this thing. We replaced bearings at the end down here. We took the old garage type bearing for garage doors and we put these two bolt bearings with grease fittings with a radial capacity and, and a lateral capacity strong enough to withstand thousands of pounds of force. We put the cast iron pulleys on here, hardened one inch shafts, keyed in. This is old oil field pipe that we got from a good friend of ours out of his scrap bin to make these guides to keep your cable up off the ground. We added these struts in here for stiffeners into the frame. This is of course the original part as well as the legs are mostly original. Now when we get down to the arbor area we added this strut to help keep the frame stable. We rebuilt these out of two by two by quarter angle iron, uh, I-beam or H-beam if you prefer because the other ones were collapsed. Now this took a lot of patience and a lot of time for my sons. All these bearings are all greasable, heavy duty bearings. Brand new one inch shaft all the way through. We bought the bearings off from Surplus Center. We bought this shaft off from Surplus Center. It was one inch keyed shaft all the way through. The pulleys, both, all the smaller pulleys were bought off from Surplus Center. And the larger pulley we bought off McMaster Car. That was an expensive one. That was over $100. The Arbor bearings we bought from Motion Industries. Regreased them. We had to cut two inches off from the Arbor shaft here. The blade has been hammered and retoothed by BH Payne and Sons. And oh look, there's my son Robert who spent the last two years of his existence eating, breathing, and sleeping this mill to the point that he's just sick of it. The drum, instead of three wraps on the drum, I went with four for better traction. It doesn't stall out. The carriage itself has all new casters that were machined in our shop and bushed. The track casters are all machined in our shop with needle bearings that were bought off from Amazon. The carriage has been cleaned, disassembled, checked, rechecked, re-squared, and re-leveled. As we go down the mill, it sits on, on piers that are exactly 48 inches deep into the ground and with the framework sitting on top and level. And as we finish out the mill, it's got more struts and more stiffeners. And we added five more feet of track to each end so that the offloader so the offloader will have some place to work because there's